Good morning. Welcome to an early morning here in Maryborough on Wednesday, the 19th of August, 2020. It's great out here this morning. The sun's just coming up and the birds are uh, really doing their early morning creation song, uh, song of praise to the Creator. It's marvellous. This morning we're going to be talking a little bit about the Philadelphian church. Uh, Philadelphia is another one of these very ancient cities in the Lysias Valley and uh, was established by in eight um, in 189 BC by King Eumenes the second of Pergamum and he named the city after uh, in love for his brother um, Attalus the second who would be his successor and of course Philadelphia Phileo um, love, uh, Adelphos, brotherly, the two words in the Greek, brotherly love, this, uh, and the, the phileo love is about that mutual respect the love a brother has for another brother. Philadelphian church was quite a unique church, had a number of unique features of, of, of that area, m most particularly shaped by a number of earthquakes. And uh, so bear that in mind as we read this story this morning. The Philadelphians, well, they were a faithful and a well-balanced mob. They, they were mature Christians, uh, the, as you'll see in the text. John writes, or Jesus addresses them as pillars of the church, and we'll talk about that. They marry faith and, and action together uh, in lives of service. They've walked long enough in the Christian faith to recognise their own shortcomings and their humility about. Let's hear what Jesus says to the Philadelphian. Write this to Philadelphia, to the angel of the church, the holy, the true, David's keys in his hand, opening doors no one can lock, locking doors no one can open, speaks. I see what you've done, now see what I've done. I've opened a door before you that no one can slam shut. You don't have much strength, I know that. You used what you had to keep my word. You didn't deny me when times were rough. And watch as I take those who call themselves true believers but are nothing of the kind, pretenders whose true membership is in the club of Satan. Watch as I strip off their pretensions and they're forced to acknowledge it's you that I've loved. Because you kept my word in passionate patience, I'll keep you safe in the time of testing that'll be here soon. And all over the earth, every man, woman and child put to the test. I'm on my way, I'll be there soon. Keep a tight grip on what you have so no one distracts you and steals your crown. I'll make each conqueror a pillar in the sanctuary of my God, a permanent position of honor. Then I'll write names on you the pillars, the name of my God, the name of God's city, the new Jerusalem coming down out of heaven and my new name. Are your ears awake? Listen, listen to the wind words. The spirit is blowing through the churches. Well, truth of the matter is we are going through testing times. And, um, and the other truth of the matter is that Jesus is one more day closer to his return. And those things are sure. I, I find it fascinating uh, as Jesus addresses the Philadelphians, he talks about he is the one who, who opens and closes doors and that which is open, no one can close and that which is closed, no one can open. And I think the open door to, to relate with others, the open door to, to present a loving faith and commend a loving faith to people around us is a door that Jesus has opened. But he then goes on to talk about making those who conquer a pillar in the sanctuary of God. You know, for a number of years now, I, I hear this whole idea of being a pillar of the church, sometimes relating disparagingly to, to those people who are the foundation of the church. And I have a real problem with that. If we understand the Church of Philadelphia and being a pillar in the church because it was such a volcanic region, the way to make the church building fall down is to take the pillars out. You know, if you consider yourself a pillar of the church, I say, praise God for you. May you be strengthened in your pillarness of helping the Church of God. 
approach this season full of faith and action like the Philadelphians. Be encouraged today. And for those of us who are a bit younger in the faith, may we become pillars of the church the found, on a solid foundation of Jesus himself, the, the pillars of the church that continue the work of God in the world today through the doors that he opens for us and uh, those he opens, no one can close. It's interesting, he says, I'll write my name on you. That's a little bit provocative to those who might have a little bit of ink work, but you know something? A day will come where God writes his name on us himself. And that's a wonderful, wonderful thought. Let's pray together today. Father, thank you so much for the Philadelphians. They're so well balanced and so faithful. May we emulate them. May we, may we know how to integrate faith and action. May we be found faithful as they were faithful. May we be found May we be found well balanced as they were well balanced. May we find ourselves established as pillars of the church for the display of your splendor, continuing the work of God in our world. For we pray in the name of Jesus. Amen.